There have been 183 magnetic pole reversals so far, and the next one has the potential to cause disaster beyond our imagination. More frightening is we are long overdue for the same. It's happening literally as you are watching this video. But how much of it is actually true? Let's find out. Earth, our blue oasis in the vastness of space, is enveloped by a dynamic force field known as the magnetosphere. While the magnetic field is sparking discussions about pole shifts and their consequences, it's crucial to discern scientific facts from unfounded claims. Let's look into the intricacies of Earth's magnetic field and debunk misconceptions about its purported impact on climate change. Before we derive any conclusion, we need to understand Earth's magnetosphere, which serves as Earth's guardian, deflecting harmful solar radiation and charged particles from the sun. This invisible shield, integral to life on our planet, undergoes constant fluctuations in strength due to the dynamic forces at play within the Earth's core. The gradual shifts in the magnetic poles occur every 300,000 years, influencing navigation tools like compasses and guiding creatures such as birds and sea turtles. But contrary to some assertions, variations in Earth's magnetic field are not responsible for contemporary global warming or catastrophic climate change. Examining several hypotheses, including magnetic pole shifts, pole reversals, and geomagnetic excursions, the scientific community finds insufficient evidence linking these phenomena to significant climate impacts. But are there any shifts in the magnetic pole location at all? Well, the magnetic North Pole has drifted over 600 miles since 1831, impacting navigation. Shorter-lived magnetic field intensity changes have occurred throughout Earth's history. However, even during pole reversals, Earth's magnetosphere remains protective, with no imminent threat to climate stability. Do you know what can give us some insights about this matter? The Swarm Constellation. Before we discuss that, make sure to subscribe to our channel. It will add value to your life. Moving on. Launched by the European Space Agency, the Swarm Constellation provides valuable insights into Earth's magnetic field dynamics. Data reveals the ever-changing strength of the magnetic field, with fluctuations measured in nanotslots. Wait a minute. Nobody told me we have mini Tesla cars? So how small is a nano Tesla? Can a one-year-old ride in that? On a serious note, imagine you have a really powerful magnet, much stronger than the ones you might have on your fridge. Now, a Tesla is like a special way we measure how strong that magnetic field is. So, when we say something has a magnetic field of one Tesla, it means it's a pretty strong magnet. It's like saying, hey, this magnet is so strong that if you had a tiny compass, it would point towards this magnet instead of the North Pole. Think of it like a superhero power scale, but for magnets. The stronger the magnet, the more Teslas it has. So one Tesla is like the starting superhero level for magnets, and they can get even stronger as they go up on the Tesla scale. So despite some variations, the overall robustness of Earth's magnetic shield remains evident. Addressing the purported connection between Earth's magnetic field and climate change, two critical physical principles dispel these claims, the first being insufficient energy in Earth's upper atmosphere. Electromagnetic currents in the upper atmosphere lack the energy magnitude to influence climate. Energy aloft is approximately 100,000 times less than the energy driving the climate system at Earth's surface. The second is hilarious. Air isn't ferrous. Earth's magnetic field polarity changes do not impact weather or climate due to the absence of ferrous elements in the atmosphere. The lack of a physical mechanism connecting electromagnetic currents in space with surface weather conditions is a fundamental reason. But what about our sun? It has a huge magnetic field. Can it affect Earth? Well, solar storms, despite their electromagnetic interactions, only impact Earth's ionosphere which extends from the mesosphere to space. Ionosphere does sound cool, right? It is a region of Earth's upper atmosphere, extending from about 48 kilometers or 30 miles to about 965 kilometers or 600 miles above the Earth's surface. This layer is crucial because it contains a high concentration of ions and free electrons, which are charged particles. It is this layer that causes the spectacular aurora borealis along with Earth's magnetic field. Sorry, sorry, went a little off topic. 
talking of solar storms, these phenomena have no bearing on Earth's troposphere or lower stratosphere, where surface weather and climate originate. I really hope that pole reversal won't affect us drastically, but if it does, we might have to be ready to colonize other bodies. Where would you like to live? Most will pick Mars, but do you know what? There is something ISRO's Chandrayaan-4 will be doing that will change our perspective. Click here to know what ISRO is planning with its most complicated mission ever.